All Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass skins have been revealed or teased alongside what's happening in the next cinematic trailer, an event also building up in the final days with free rewards we can earn correlating to the next season and those skins. Trust me, stick around until the end, you won't want to miss a second of today's video to get all of that and more. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the Battle Pass or anything from the shop, you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout so that means Bro. another purchase to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be shown on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof for that recently on screen right now. Diving straight into it all since the last update of chapter 5 season 1 has now gone live 28.30 before 29.00 chapter 5 season 2 for those that don't know because it's the 29th season of Fortnite. Before we hop into the season 2 build up event that you won't want to miss alongside the free rewards and quests that are going to be added around the same time. Before the earthquakes start happening around the island very soon, which we actually know the reason for now, again that we're about to reveal, we have a ton of new map changes that have occurred as you can see. The zenith or ice wall or ice kind of glacier has melted so much that the plane has now fallen off. Also Valeri the evil or leader of society character this season has set up equipment that can now be found on the outskirts of ruined reels. For the reason being, things are about to go down here. As we have a new season 2 skin in the battle pass most likely tier 1 one, which is this off the Fortnite surveys in a different form called Odyssey, which upon approaching and interacting with her, she says she can feel an ancient power growing on this island, which we're about to literally show. With this NPC being added in the recent update, data miners have posted things such as Sheena stating the season 2 NPC I posted earlier is the Odyssey skin by the way, and she'll most likely be tier 1 in the next battle pass, and both of these styles will be different variants of her, of course the one we see in game right now is on the left, but the one on the right in my opinion is a lot more interesting and I definitely want to see like a progressive style for this, kind of like we did for Drift and Ragnarok in Chapter 1 Season 5. Of course, these two be in the Tier 1 or Level 1 and 100 skins. We also have an early look and tease as to what the Level 100 skin is, believe it or not, so stay tuned for that. However, before we hop onto that particular one, another Battle Pass skin that may have been revealed considering data miners have found this event, which is going to be occurring as a map change also. A giant hand placed here on the outskirts of Ruin Reels, which is going to be completely huge. This is the size difference between normal Fortnite character models and that hand also so holding Pandora's box which is going to be open. To recap the storyline of course now with the start of a new chapter Vengeance Jones after the events of the Big Bang using the time machine still has memories of the past and because of that the society another faction kidnapped his best buddy Peely to try and obviously lure him in and gain his knowledge of the past. It's safe to say Peely was a wanted but troublesome hostage as you can see right here the society didn't really like having him around. Thankfully Vengeance Jones has managed to get him back now as we can see from the recent loading screen for completing 8 of the takedown quests, obviously having Peely carried out from Fenting Fields, the last place he was taken hostage. For those that didn't know, all of the mythic bosses on the island are under the faction of the society, versing the underground, which again Hope is actually helping Vengeance Jones with, despite her sister obviously being the leader of the society Valeri, as she knows with what Valeri's got planned, no possible good outcome can arise. Valeri's plan, if you haven't been paying attention to the map changes, and even these particular books around the island showing what she really has her focus on, obviously shows drawings of this mysterious looking Pandora's box sort of thing. This focus even extends to the loading screens including Valeri or trying to portray her character and her desires or what she aims to accomplish. And with it being confirmed early in the start of this season that Chapter 5 Season 2 would be Greek themed considering the code name is Ega which means goat in Greek correlating to the language. Combined with the fact Greece is a European country and not only does the Chapter 5 map largely resemble European countries but specifically Greece slap bang in the middle at Ruin Reels. Considering the Odyssey skin's been a new update added to here and we're expecting more such as the map change holding Pandora's box that we already showed. Data miners believe that this survey skin could be the actual character in giant form holding up Pandora's box. And speaking of this box in itself, how we know it's Pandora's box is because that again is part of Greek mythology. Again, tying back to the overall theme, we're going to be seeing largely in force next season. Despite just being a cool map change, there's an even deeper meaning or purpose behind this being added as Hypex stated. Here's the season two teaser's location the size difference with the POI is crazy, players will have to come together to shoot the chest down and open it for a reason we don't know yet. He then followed up with another post regarding this event and what's actually going to be happening stating at Season 2 Prelude event info, when the Pandora box opens there will be chaos mini events in the map like thunder, tornadoes, earthquakes, we'll apparently watch the titan hand emerge from lava cracks live and the hand has animations like final weapon and thumper. With that post confirming we're 
going to be seeing weather changes like in Chapter 3 with the tornadoes and lightning reintroduced for these kind of Chaos Mini Live events. The Lava Cracks it also mentions for those that are wondering with the Titan Hand which has also been determined to be like what this is actually based off of, this giant. As we saw the floor is Lava Leaks but obviously to do with Midas as a Midas Presents mode, so Midas Presents the floor is Lava at the start of this season that Data Miners were able to determine was upcoming. All of these leaks are coming full circle and working with one another now as Midas of course is a character based off Greek mythology in itself and it looks like he's going to be returning in the lore as well making sense of his return in Chapter 5 Season 2. As you can see Data Miners have found this image in the files of kind of like a lava tunnel system and as Spush posted along with the giant hand that will open Pandora's box there will be lava. In this way the return of Midas would arrive alongside his game mode of the ground is lava obviously meaning the floor is lava. Who knows as Midas is returning into the storyline fingers crossed we get this survey variant of Aura as Aura is another snapshot of Midas once he's fully succumbed to the gold touch and turned into a skeleton or died. And speaking of survey skins upcoming but in the next battle pass for definite we know thanks to Hypex stating these cosmetics seem to be free obtained from season 2 prelude quests you will have to collect the loading screen as pieces similar to Fortbytes. The date is unknown but my guess is this Tuesday which would happen to land on the 27th of February 2024. With this being an early look on reward screen form of not only the back bling but the loading screen of course it's implying Cerberus is upcoming in the next season again being a part of Greek mythology the guardian or guard dog of the underworld. With this being the highest voted or wanted Fortnite survey skin right now this three headed dog it's definitely going to be upcoming in the next battle pass but the question is is it going to be level 100 or not? Hypex made a good post tying all of this together here's the mosaic teaser the loading screen it gives and the Cerberus skin that Fortnite is teasing all in one so you can see the direct reference resemblances and even another secret that this loading screen once the mosaic is complete and implying which seems to be some sort of Kraken Cthulhu looking creature at the bottom so the myths or rumours of the Kraken finally coming to Fortnite giant in the water as part of an event might actually be happening next season. As Hypex and other data miners are referring to this hand as a Titan hand allow me to explain the storyline going forward which may blow your mind furthermore despite Pandora's box now from Greek mythology literally being in or coming to Fortnite as Restro stated Fortnite season 2 theory. It's possible that the island might be held up by a Titan, a Titan in Greek myth who was known for holding up the entire cosmos was Atlas, a burden given to him by Zeus for punishment after rebelling against him. This cosmic survey skin could be Atlas which is definitely a plausible theory as we've already determined. The hands on this survey skin look so similar to the quote unquote Titan hand coming out of the ground that we're going to be seeing as an upcoming event map change. And speaking of Zeus being the god of gods or god of thunder and lightning or just ultimately Mount Olympus, Hypex has put together a list of all the battle pass skins we know so far included throughout chapter 5 season 2. Most of these skins have a huge chance of dropping next season or even being in the battle pass and so far we know 3. Cerberus we've already mentioned, Odyssey, Athena in this survey and then Zeus not in this survey but there's a boss with lightning codename Z. These are the effects he's referencing and of course with reference to Zeus being the god of thunder and lightning and just ultimately the god of gods this is definitely a perfect fit. A potential 4th battle pass outfit out of the 8 we always see each season with each new battle pass that rolls around as Sheena posted this survey skin could be coming in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. Epic Games is currently working on a wrap code named Age Rip and the colour scheme of the wrap is very similar to the colour scheme of this skin. Here's a bigger and better look of it on screen right now and again the overall art style and theme of it or vibe definitely flows with the ancient Greek feel or mythology theme season we're going to be seeing upcoming. Speaking of the battle pass most of you will get it automatically from being subscribed to the Fortnite crew and Fortnite right now have announced despite Data Mine is confirming it that Cat with a double T is going to be the skin for Fortnite crew subscribers in March of 2024. With this being what it looks like all the cosmetics will get with a mask off and on style with the back bling and also a pickaxe upon March rolling around and you being subscribed or as soon as you do in March. Of course we can't forget about the legacy styles for this skin that we see for other crew pack skins so you'll be getting more of those for previous ones you've already got and been subscribed to if you are subscribed consecutively for March. The same applying to this skin as you can see all the different legacy variants for the skin, the back bling and pickaxe on screen right now for the March crew pack for being subscribed after this month consecutively for up to I believe 4 months is when you unlock everything for a skin in terms of the legacy styles. Despite season 2 already starting in Fortnite Festival being on a different timer of course, the other modes believe it or not are soon going to be seeing more changes such as Lego with this starter pack on screen right now called the Operation Bright Starter Pack with the Bright Agent skin and also the Star Bright Pack. Here are what those cosmetics look like in game of course in their full forms instead of just like the headshot of the skin and then a picture of the bat bling so you guys can get like a preview before 
before you decide to buy this starter pack. And then for Rocket Racing, when this actually does end the time and that we can get the current free skin in around four weeks, Mateus apparently is going to be the Rocket Racing Season 2 free skin with not only his normal variant but the Lego form on screen right now. If you were wondering about the Battle Royale starter pack for next season in Chapter 5 Season 2, this is going to be a skin called Clara. Coming along again with not only a normal but Lego form, back bling, pickaxe and also 600 V-Bucks for a very good price. These are the best bundled deals out of all the deals that come to Fortnite in the shop based off the value you get for the money spent. As you can see, this character as well kind of fits the vibe or theme in Battle Royale of Greek mythology going forward, not just as something that Epic Games want to introduce, maybe so they can bring back Midas to be honest. But no, seriously, of course, this is another good indication. Furthermore, that Greek mythology is going to be the forefront of Battle Royale in Chapter 5 Season 2. Drop a like if you're excited based off everything discussed today and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any any future leaks or uploads. Don't forget to enter code FM1 right now if you have the chance to do so with so many cool things releasing and the Season 2 Battle Pass, but speaking of other videos, click either of these YouTubes recommended you. After all, it's a good suggestion. Whilst you wait for that next upload, I do publish on the channel.